हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक इन कूल आई टी हेल्प दिस इज दर वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल सेशन ऑन मोंगो डी बी इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल सेशन आई विल टेल यू अबाउट अ फ्री एंड ओपन सोर्स मोंगो डी बी जी ओ आई क्लाइंट यस आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट रोबो थ्री डी इट हैज सम गुड फीचर्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दिस इज फ्री एंड ओपन सोर्स you can easily download it without any license this is very fast and easy to operate with mongodb and it has a very simple gui and this is very interactive you can run your sql queries as well very easily also you will get the multiple data view like tree view table view and the console view all these views helps you a lot while working on mongodb okay guys now main agenda of this tutorial i will tell you the downloading and the installation of the robo 3d after that i will connect this gui client to a database then i will tell you about the interface and how to use it in the fourth point you guys have to do some hands on this will be all yours and then fifth point is thanks that i will tell you at the end of the video so guys without wasting time let's get started in the first step just copy this link from the description and open your favorite browser and go in the address bar and paste it here hit enter then you will be landed on this page This is the official Robo 3T download page. You don't need to worry about anything. This is the official download page. This is secure. And guys, here we have two options: Studio 3T. I'm not telling you about this thing. This is not free. You can download it and you can use it, but this will be only for 30 days. After 30 days, it will not work for you in full-fledged manner. You have to purchase a license for that. but in our case i am going to download the robo 3t so we have to click on this link once you click you will be navigated to the second page this is the download page and this is two buttons uh, available robo 3t previously we known this thing as a robo mongo the old name and uh, here's the button i don't know why this is black and white so we have to click on this one Once you click you will see this pop up box and here you have some choices according to the your uh, operating system if you want to download for the windows you have this one and if you want to proceed with the mac you can click on the second tab and uh, if you have a linux so you can download the linux installer as well So in this tutorial session we are going to install a Windows 10 so I will suggest you download the 64 bit installer click on this link once you click downloading will be started this is not much big file only 15.5 MB is uh, in size now the file is downloaded just click once to execute it once you click you will see very first window welcome in the setup wizard we have nothing to do here do next and this is license agreement you can go through it and click on the i agree and you will reach on this destination folder box so guys uh, the default location is program files do not change the folder name and it will not take much space only 60 mb is required to install this do the next and here uh you will get the name the default name robo 3t and this is the start menu folder that means this sub link will appear under this folder click next and the installation procedure is started installation is done now this is auto checked once you click on the finish so the robo 3t will be launched so here we are inside the robo 3t this is the mongodb gui client and this is the connection window i will tell you after few few minute first we will go through about this uh, interface so we have these uh, menu items right here view options and we have some options 
Regarding the working on MongoDB, inside the windows we have the full screen minimize and other options as well. Uh, for the connection, we guys uh, we have to make sure the MongoDB installed on our system. There are some blog posts as well, so you can go through it. Before going to connect the MongoDB, we have to must ensure that MongoDB server is running on our system or not. In this regarding, we are going back in here in this notepad. So I will tell you the few things. Make sure you have done these things before going to proceed with this tutorial. Under this section, how to connect the database, guys, the first prerequisite is you must have MongoDB server is running on your machine. And if you guys have not installed and you came directly on this video tutorial, so you have to first watch my tutorial on uh, MongoDB installation and then you can proceed with this video tutorial. And uh, for the installation tutorial link is given in the description box you can watch that tutorial first so before going to connect the mongodb client with the database so we have to check mongodb server is running or not so once you install mongodb server on your system you will get some directory structure so i am taking you inside the c drive so right now we are inside the c drive program files and then you will get a mongodb folder in your system then go to the server then 4.2 go inside the bin okay right here we will open the command prompt then i will go inside the mongo shell there we will see our server is running or not it's very simple in this address bar click uh, cmd so cmd uh, will open and you are inside the bin folder you can directly call the command so we have to open mongo shell so we are going to call the command mongo okay right here so mongo shell is ready you can see the message uh, the shell is uh, connected mongodb the port is 27017 you can see here server is startup warning server is running already there and we are here inside the mongo shell so we can uh, execute some commands to check how many database we have inside this right now we have these four databases to select the any one database we have to type the use command to switch on the database so this is the name my company now i am switched on the my company database so current working database become my company now we can execute the another command to display the collections show collections students and employee only two collections available that we have created in our previous tutorial sessions on mongodb you can watch that tutorials as well links are given in the description box now we are going back here in the robo 3d to connect because we have verified our mongodb server is running perfectly now Go at this place, click on the manage connection and you will see this pop-up box, this pop-up window and this place, click on this create link. Another uh, connection setting pop-up box will appear and uh, here lots of things will not be changed. So the type will be the direct connection, no change required. Okay, this is the connection name. You can give the connection name as per your choice. So I am giving the name my MongoDB server. After that, this is the port as we have seen in the Mongo shell in a black and white window and the address is localhost. So leave this thing as it is or this is the test button. Just click on it to check the connection is successful or not. Now the MongoDB GUI is connected and uh, now click on the save to save the connection click on the connect now this SQL client is connected to the MongoDB server and now this is displaying the database my company and config now let me show you so this is the admin config this is our database that we have created now let me expand this inside the collection you can see student and employee 
to work on the students you have to just double click on it and you will see the details in the upper section you will write your SQL query in the bottom section you can see your data right now you are watching this uh, tree view and you can switch to the different view with the help of the side menu items this is the tree view now you can switch to the different view by clicking on this uh, second icon let me show you okay see this this is a table view just like a relational database so you will get some limited details in this sometimes this is useful and this is a tree view another view is there this is a uh, the text mode and so you will get your data as a JSON format you can see uh, this is a dark look and feel you can see the comment is also there the first record second record third record fourth record fifth record so in this students collection we have these five records so all the records will be displayed like this way key value another key and the value key and the value so this is very useful views the tree view table view and this uh, JSON view really helpful you can also execute your queries you can search find or edit your records from this place this is the query execution window so just click on this green button to execute the query or if you want to select the certain portion of the query so just select and press ctrl plus enter or press F5 to execute the query as so you guys are thinking that this uh, window is very small you can increase the window size as well go here on the very right hand side click on this square now this is expandable you will get a lot of space to execute your complex queries on your MongoDB database and this is very simple cool and uh, awesome MongoDB GUI client Please do some hands on, definitely you will like it. You will get the options to open the shell directly from this place, create database and other options are there. I suggest you do some hands on and uh, this is all yours. I hope you will like it. And guys, if you found this video useful, please like this tutorial and please subscribe my channel or you can press the bell icon so you will get the latest video updates on time. And if you guys have any doubts, so please comment. I will try my best to reply as soon as possible. And guys, for now, thanks for watching. Cool IT help.